Welcome to the Timber Bonners. This is season two. We've started on a new map. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to the Timber Bonners season two. We're starting a brand new map, and there's also a brand new update. So first off, this map is called Waterfalls. It's because there are a couple of waterfalls down there. Thought it looked quite nice. You can see our starting location here. We got some trees over there, some trees and berries. All pretty nice, all pretty standard stuff. However, you will notice if you zoom in on these trees, look. Look, what is that? If we click on this tree, pine trees sometimes produce pine resin now. I have no idea what that does because it's new. Before we get too far, I just want to say a massive thank you to the devs. They actually sponsored this video. Thank you for supporting the channel. As you know, I absolutely adore this game. If you want to check it out yourself, click the old link in my description. And looking at these maple trees, it looks like, yes, they've got something. Maple syrup. Sounds kind of yummy. The other thing I've noticed is over here... What is this? An underground ruin. Buried ruins full of metal scraps that can be mined. Now I think that might be unlimited because when you click on this, the normal ruins, it says how much scrap metal is remaining. So each of those has a number. Whereas this, there's no number. So that could be an infinite source of scrap metal for like later in the game potentially. But yes, for now, we're back at the start. Now it's been a while since we've done a fresh start. So this could be a bit ropey. Hopefully I don't cock up. But look, here is our district center. And you'll notice it's not called Patreons or YouTube members because we're all working in harmony this time. I've installed a mod that allowed the beaver names to be named automatically as they're born. So every one of these beavers is either a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter. And as new beavers are born, they'll just be renamed from a list I have. So no more typing them in manually behind the scenes. Yes! <laughs> best mod ever. But yes, as you can see, everything is paused because we need to get some stuff built. So I think first things first, we'll build a path from there down to around there somewhere. We're going to then go to water and we're going to build a deep water pump. And I'm going to build that down here because I'm trying, trying being the keyword, to plan ahead and think I'm going to build a dam across there so that we can keep all of this green in the dry season. So let's extend our path to the entrance. So that's all good. Next, we're going to want to build one of these, a small water tank. And this will allow us to store some water. So I think we'll just plonk three of those down, perhaps. And then for food, we're going to need a gatherer flag. And this will allow people to collect berries. And berries are these little things here. So we'll plonk one of those on the end. And I think that's everything we need for our basic survival. However, in order to build these, we're going to need logs. Look, we have no logs. So I can see we've got two choices. We've got a few straggly old trees on this side, or we've got quite a dense forest over there. So what I think we'll do, we'll build a path over to around there. We'll then put a lumberjack flag down you can see like the range they have so they should be able to cut all those trees pretty easily i'll probably do two to start or maybe even three or perhaps four they are free so i may as well get everyone chopping trees as soon as and then if we come to storage i'll say then build a log pile there and if i come to assign priorities i can say two of those need to be built asap then all that lot needs to be built and then they'll be built last because there's no point prioritizing these because we don't have any logs yet all right so i think that's all we need to start so i'll press play and we'll see what happens we need to increase the number of workers in here they are our builders so here we got beavering way down here we've got walker john t air perennis and joshua Hua. so tom oliver works in this one sam Fultz in there flame sulis and then walker's got into that but look there's no trees to cut so we come down to here cut trees and then we can mark a tree cutting area so we want to say all of these we want to chop them down and now they're highlighted green if we come down you can see beavers are beavering away chopping them down which will get us some wood me you know who's over here sat on their ass john t <laughs> John T. To be fair, he's waiting for logs. We can't build this log pile until we have logs, but now they're chopping away. They are carrying logs over. So here is John T. He's carrying logs over to this and building a log pile out of logs. It's logception. <laughs> All right, so I've marked this bush to be destroyed. So who's this? So John T, he's literally doing everything now. Now he got caught, sat on his ass. He's trying to make it up to me. He's doing all the jobs. So he will remove that bush. And that means we can then extend our path. How far does that... Oh, we can go all the way down to there. All right, I think we're going to path all the way along this edge over to there. And that's where we're going to have our dam. Because that will maximize all of this green area. We want this to stay green as much as possible. So John T, come remove this bush, please. All right, so look, now our log storage is complete. 
I'm a bit worried how quick the trees are going down. <laughs> they're, they're getting mullered. And up here, it looks like all of our beavers are currently working. So what I might do, I might get rid of a lumberjack flag. I'll just press pause on that. And then we'll say, go beer gatherer. So Walker's got in there. He should come and pick some berries, which will be our main food source to start with. All right, and there he is. He looks like he's stroking them, but he, he is picking them. Do not... <laughs> <laughs> He's like polishing them up. <laughs> and who's this? A little baby watching him. Shadow heirs. I forgot we have a few kids wandering around. Who else we got? What? What? <laughs> what? What? All right, we've got some sheep. Not literally some sheep. Just a beaver called some sheep. But nice. So our first day, we're sort of looking okay. We've nearly built our water pump. It's got enough materials. We're just waiting on the build. It's on 75%. So we're looking good. Time to fast forward through the night and we'll see how we're getting on in the morning. Right, so it's the next morning and look, the water pump is not only complete, but we've got our first log pumper. So if you haven't seen this game before, this is the ultimate in log technology. It's a very private room, only a very small window and allows a beaver to go inside and pump their log like anything. So who is in here, might you ask? It is Watts Watts. You can see overnight he grew up and as a very young adult, he is very good at pumping his log. So that will provide us with water. Meanwhile, we'll connect our paths up and then we're ready to put a dam along there. So so I might start saying, let's build the dam. I think I'm also going to put a path along the top. All right, so I'm quite intrigued what's going to happen with these pine trees, with the pine resin. I should probably actually have a look. There's probably some sort of building that uses that up. Oh, wow, check this out. Oh, this is interesting. So it looks like the grill now cooks some more items. As with the grist mill, as with the bakery. Oh, Ooh, and there's now an aquatic farmhouse. All right, and in wood, we have the usual. We got the Forester, the gear workshop, paper mill, printing press. Ooh, what is this? The Tapper Shack. So that's how we gain the pine resin and the maple syrup. It's 500 science. So I'll tell you what, it might be worth sort of early game trying to get a science place in. Oh, and what is this? There's a new science thing, an observatory. So it requires power. Ooh, and some pine resin, I think. And a lot of science points, a thousand. So yeah, I think we're going to build an inventor's hut almost straight up because we've still got three kids so as soon as they grow up that's three more jobs we're gonna have oh, but right what do we want to think about next perhaps getting some new births some sheep has just grown up they're gonna be a builder to try and build some stuff maybe yeah so if we get this inventor hut done then we can probably put them in there oh and look they've already started work on the dam Yes, good work, my beavers. I'm worried we're sort of running out of trees as well. And to be honest, our food is going down quite majorly. I think we might slow down for a bit. It might be worth trying to do a farm straight up. So if we shove a farmhouse there and another one there, we can then come to plant crops and we can say... To be honest, it might be worth going for a grill straight away because look, it's unlocked. All we need is logs to build it. And we can make potatoes. And we know potatoes are very efficient. Each potato, once cooked, turns into four food. Although maybe that's not wise, considering we don't have many beavers yet, as we're at the start of the game. Right, I've done a patch of carrots. So let's put this on high priority. And we'll put that farmhouse on lower priority. And that'll all get built soon. And look, it's another night. I do, I do always feel bad for the iron teeth. Yeah, I've gone with the iron teeth again, by the way. Uh, just because... I feel like they're more the engineers, but uh, it, do it does mean they're all sleeping out rough and they probably will be for a long time. There's no real benefit to building them housing. Whereas the folk tales, they reproduce in, if you have enough housing. Uh, these guys, they need something else. So we should probably look at that now. So if we build like a path over this way, I think we'll go up there for now. If we come to housing, we can completely ignore the barrack. They don't need it. Uh, we can build a breeding pod or two. So I think we'll build three of those up there. And that will allow us to start reproducing. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to tell them to cut these trees down as well. Because uh, we're we're massively running out of trees. That's not very good. Oh, and look at this. Look what I've just spotted. There's a little natural dam there. That could bring water up here, which means more potential planting space. So let's put that on demolish. Say super high priority. So hopefully someone will come and do that. Oh, and look, all of our children have grown up now. So yeah, very good time to start building the breeding pods. I think as well, I should probably pause another lumberjack flag. So now we've got two farmers, Chris and Flame. They are both planting carrots. And once they're planted, we can pause that and put them on something else. I think perhaps maybe we want some more water. I feel like we're not producing a lot of water. We're on 50. So let's get another one of those built. Oh, and look, who's this coming over? It's Tom Oliver. Oh, I thought you were going to come destroy the dam. He's just destroying a tree. I guess it's not a natural instinct for beavers to destroy dams. All right, are you coming over, Sam Fultz? Yes. No. Oh, damn you, Sam. <laughs> he picked up a log and buggered off. This is meant to be super high priority. Why is no one doing it? Ah, it's out of range. Okay, so if we build some paths a little bit closer, 
That extends the district center. Yeah, okay. So let's just path up to there. Now is it in range? Yes, you can see the area of the district center. It's now in range. Sweet. Oh, and look, they've planted all the carrots. So we're going to pause the farmhouse because they're just a waste of jobs at the moment. Uh, one of them can go in this deep water pump once it's complete. And the other one, it might be worth planting some trees. So if we come to wood, do we have the forester unlocked? No, we need some more science. We need 60 science. Oh, and we also need planks for that as well. And look at this, we've only got six logs. So it's probably worth building another lumberjack flag over this end. And then marking all of these trees to be cut down. Because it's just dead wood. It's just free wood, basically. Oh, look, someone removed the dam. We missed it. But now everything back here is green. So I think what we'll do, we'll try and have like a tree planting area all of this and then food can be in the middle and then berries over there yep okay think i've got a plan i think i've got a plan so you can see they're chopping down these trees at the back so that's some free wood which should make things be built a bit quicker uh, the water seems to be stocking up now we haven't even built our next pump yet so i might say build another water tank and then i'm going to look to try and create some planks oh and this is new a compact water wheel it's a compact version of the normal water wheel ah oh, so it looks like they've created two different size water wheels now interesting i mean there's no need to do any wheel of shames yet so do i want to go with the water wheel probably should i want to see oh look look how small it is it's really narrow so that creates 40 hp per centimeter oh that's a bit more in depth now so if we were to build that there and then what do we need for the lumber mill oh it needs 50 that's not good okay so if we put that there so once this is built it'll turn logs into planks but look it requires 50 hp and i think this water will only makes 40 hp we'll have to see because i'm not sure what per centimeter means oh look we got our first breeding pod completed so we're gonna get a birth we're gonna get a birth fairly soon i think all right i feel like it might be worth prioritizing the dam soon as well i don't know how long the dry season is but we're on day nine so let's come to our priorities tools and we'll say finish the dam dam oh look look the water wheel is complete it's created oh god it's only creating 35 power so we're gonna have to build another one of those and now that's built i'm not sure if that's going to be very easy to do yeah they're not going to be able to get to that oh which means we're going to need bloody shafts and things okay so we'll build that there and then we're going to have to do a shaft into that now thankfully although it looks like there's like gears and logs and planks and all sorts to make these shafts they only cost logs oh god oh god right oh, 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 oh. oh god look everyone's hungry oh the carrots are done okay the carrots are done we can put people back in the farm and i think we'll just pause some lumberjacks for now all right god i really don't want to end the game this early <laughs> Come on. <laughs> How hungry are they? Oh no, they're completely hungry. Oops. Oh, and that reminds me actually, we want to store some food as well. So if we come down to storage, we're going to have to build a small warehouse. You can probably put that there. All right, now you can see the first carrot has been picked. Oh, we better pause another lumberjack or something. Tell you what, I feel like all the berries have been picked. So Walker, we're going to pause you. And I think you've gone into the farm. Yeah, he's gone into the farm now. So there should be some food for people. So hopefully we won't lose any. I really don't want to lose any. Oh, we've already lost a beaver. When did that happen? Airs Perennius has died of old age. He only survived 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right i think we're good again we can go back to fast forward oh god food is so short there you go food is building up now hopefully we won't lose any to hunger that was very silly of me nearly i wonder as well is there an easy way to get those berries if we click on the gatherer flag you can see this area up here isn't included but if we were to do a path will it extend so if we path from there to those stairs because there's already some stairs there so we may as well use them come down to there if we click on that now oh it doesn't quite reach if we were to do a shortcut like through there it would probably be fine but uh we don't have time for that oh god look it's the dry season so in 2.9 days the water will stop flowing if we can get the dam in we'll be absolutely fine because it means we can carry on growing food i think now as well as we've we've got a bit of surplus of food I might tell them to prioritize planting just so the this area here that will start growing so when they get back to picking the carrots there'll at least be some growing because otherwise we're gonna have a big wait for the next batch of food man i've i've quite missed starting this game from afresh it's, it's great fun and look as the dam's being built look at the water physics you can see the water getting way faster as it's getting narrower nice i think we're gonna do that that's gonna be fine All right and look they've planted the carrots behind them so i might tell them now probably okay to go back to prioritizing harvesting All right so i've just prioritized the building of this warehouse because uh, our food 
food storage. We can only store 50 carrots in the farmhouse. So once that's full, these guys won't be able to pick anymore. Although we are out of logs. It says can't get all materials. I think we're still, yeah, we're still getting logs using here. Chris, Chris is doing a great job of getting a load of trees, bringing the logs back. Good work, Chris. Right, and it's our final day before the dry season. But look, they've nearly completed the dam. Just one more bit left. They need five more logs and then we're good. We are slacking on logs. There's only two. Oh God. I think we should do it in time, though. They need three more. So come on, Chris. Bring those logs back. There you go. And then they take it from here, bring it down to the dam. And yes, we finished. So with the dam complete, that means we should be able to keep most of this green, especially if we stop pumping water throughout the entire dry season, meaning we can carry on growing carrots. So I think we're going to pause the farmhouse since they're all planted. Oh, God, what is this guy up to? Censor that out. Censor that out. We don't want to see that. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, so the drought has started, which means over at the start of the map, these rocks here were our water source. This is where the water came from. You can see it's already dried up and the only water left is the water we have here. So it might be worth pausing the pump and just turning that on if we need it. It is quite a big area, though. I'm just worried we might make all this water drain up. All right, and as it's the dry season, it might be worth getting some people on like summer jobs. I think we'll build another lumberjack flag or two up here because we got two unemployed beavers. So now they're built, you can see Walker and Sam, they've gone straight in there. So they'll be chopping some more trees down, which should mean we can get some of these done. All right, and look, we also have our next water pump. We may as well pause you actually, because look, all our water storage is completely full. So he's gone over here. I might do a little science center. So I think they'll make good summer jobs. So if we take a path up there, we can do maybe three inventor huts. A uh, little bit worried on the food situation. There's really not a lot of food. I might get a farmer back in. So what, what, you're now a farmer. I'm going to make you plant some more carrots. Maybe another strip. Maybe another two strips. All right, so there he is. He is planting those. How long till our first ones grow? 81%. Okay, we might be okay. As long as we've got some carrots coming through soon, we shouldn't have any starvation on our hands. I am I am worried though. Oh, but look, the berries are growing back. So we can unpause the gatherer flag and we can put someone in there. Blame, that'll be your job. Because we also need berries to create new people as well. And what is what is with these beavers? Like, no wonder you're hungry. Look how much energy you're using when you're meant to be sleeping. All right, here we go. Carrots have grown. So they're being farmed. That's good. Just in time. I was a bit worried. Oh no, look. Walker died of old age. Oh. Oh, Walker. Man, we, we're like two beavers down from where we started. We really need some births soon. How are these coming along? So the breeding pod, we are nearly there. We are nearly there. Expect a new birth soon. Perhaps today on the last day of the dry season. Right, and just like that, the drought has ended. So if we head over to the water source, you should see, look, water is coming back in a very straight wave. <laughs> If we speed up, you can see as it comes along, it rejuvenates the land and all the trees that were dying now come back and all the ground that was brown is now green. So this is topping up our area. Oh, look at the wave. Look at the wave. And then it's overtopping our dam because look, our dam has a little spillway underneath, sort of making sure water can pass through, but we still store some. Right, so now you can see this is all built. So this is our lumber mill. It will turn logs into planks, uh, but we do need a worker for it. Uh, we also need to start pumping water again, so we're down to 40. So I think we will pause the inventor hut, probably all of them. Oh, and we're not actually building anything. So I think we'll pause the district center because we're not building anything. That's four jobs. So if we unpause the deep water pumps, you can see some sheep and Tom Oliver have gone in there. Some sheep is just... <laughs> It's ruining my sentences. And Joshua is in the lumber mill creating planks. Now, the reason we sort of rushed to get planks is because we want to build the forester. So as you can see, we have decimated the natural forests around here. Oh, and I missed. We had our first birth. Go get forked was born. There they are having a nice little sleep on the dried ground. <laughs> <laughs> I will build you houses at some point. At some point. It is not a priority at the moment. What is a priority is if we come down to wood, this forester hut, we can now unlock it for 60 science. So yes, unlock that, please. I think I want to build it up here. So what I might do, I might delete that lumberjack flag and plonk it there. And we know it's going to take a while to build because it not only needs logs, but it needs seven planks. And this lumber mill, it is producing planks, but it will take a while. It hasn't produced any yet. So that means we've got some time to prepare. So if we come down to plant trees and bushes. Oh, there's a new type of tree, a chestnut tree. A blind, have they feel like they've adjusted how long it takes logs to grow? Because the maple now takes 30 days to grow. 
I swear that's longer. Right, I'm just going to be an engineer and get my calculator out and try and work out how many logs we'll get in 30 days for all of these. All right, so maple would get us 240 logs, whereas a birch, we get one log, but it only takes nine days to grow. So 30 divided by nine means it will happen three times. So nine times three, that's only 27 logs. Okay, so maples are winning. So what about these? So 30 divided by 12, 2.5, 2.5, times two logs, times 12 days, 60 logs, not too bad. And what about the new one, the chestnut? So 30 divided by 24, that's 1.25. So 1.25 times 24 days, times four logs, 120. Wow, so maples are really good, but they take a long time. So I'll tell you what, let's say we'll build a load of maples at the back and we'll do like a load of birches. Birches or birch? I think birch is the plural. And that should tide us over a bit. I think I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do maples. As long as we're patient, we should be fine. But that should tide us over a bit, I hope. And looking at this, water's getting pretty full up. So I might do a bit more storage. That should be good. How many planks do we have? Oh, we have 10 planks. That's good. That means our forester hut can be made now. So if we up the priority on that. So the sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start planting all of our trees. Oh, and I just saw two births. Oh no, yes, the guy can't pronounce. Green rude fruit was born. Oh no. <laughs> And from the last episode of the Timberborners, look who has just been born. <laughs> well, no shaming you this time. We don't even have a shaming wheel set up yet. That will be high on the priority list though. Oh, I was like, why aren't they building? I just realized we've got no builders. Right, so which job can we... There you go, all the carrots are done so we can pause the farmers. So now we can get some more building. I was, I was, I was sat there like, why is nothing being built? What are these beavers doing with their lives now? Oh, look, a spazzle was born. We're getting quite a few births now. This is nice. How's the food situation? There's loads of berries, not too many carrots. Oh, look, our forester is built. So we're going to pause probably a builder or two. So let's reduce that down to two. And why didn't a builder go in there? No, we've had another death. John T. Woodbridge, the jack of all trades, master of none. He is dead. He is dead. Where do these beavers keep dying as well? I don't see the deaths anywhere. Yeah, but look, Go Get Forked has grown up and is now a lumberjack. However, not for long, because I'm actually going to pause you and you're going to go be a forester. You're not going to be chopping down trees. You're going to be planting them. Does that make you like a hippie beaver? I don't know. But we can tell him, let's prioritize the birches because that will get our initial log number up and they'll regenerate quicker as well. Although look, there are, there's a load of chestnuts up here. Can we get to them easily? Oh, there's maples down there though. I'll tell you what, I think that's going to be worth going for. So we're going to need stairs. Oh, and platforms to get down because it's too high unless you go over this side. So if we head into paths and structures, stairs cost 70 science to unlock. That's fine. Platform is a hundred though. Let's unlock the stairs and then we'll do a path going over to here. I'll tell you what, it might be worth doing another gatherer flag for those berries. Yeah, because they're not in range of that one. If we plonk that there, that should mean they get picked. The trouble is, you can see that path's red already. I don't think we're going to be able to do a path around the back to get down without stairs, without another district. I mean, we can try. So what about that? If we click on the district, I think it's only up to the red line that they can build. And even if it wasn't, look, it's just out of range. So yeah, we're going to have to get some more science to get a platform to get down to those trees. Uh, can we get up to these ones? I'm, I'm not convinced, actually. Oh, yes. Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. Let's build a lumberjack flag up here for now then. And then we can mark these to be chopped down. All right, so trees are going up quite slowly. I am going to build another forester flag. So we'll plonk you there. Look, these lumberjacks. I think they've got nothing to do. We're out of wood. So if we pause you and pause you, one of you might come over here. Yes, Chris is over here. Meanwhile, Sam is doing the berries over this side. Lovely. Ideally, I want one more beaver. Let's just wait till the morning. I think if we look down here, <laughs> look at <laughs> Look how many beavers are just scattered about. It's morning. Let's see. They're going to wake up. Will any new beavers be born? No, not quite. How far away are we? Oh, look. Breeding progress. Very close. Yes, yeah, so we're about to get three more beavers, which would be very nice. Now, the water situation is really good, actually. I might actually pause one of these. So, Tom Oliver, you've worked your log enough, mate. I'm pausing you because I want you to be a forester and let's get planting as quick as we can. So, yeah, they're doing all the maples. So, the sooner they're in the ground, the better. 30 days we got to wait. Quite a long time. Oh, and look, we've, we've had two births. So, little William has been born. He's gone for a sleep in the carrots. And here's Tears of Telos just wandering through town. 
But when we got two new beavers that are now unemployed, whose names I will not be repeating. Uh, so I think you're both going to be farmers. Because look at all those carrots. There's so many. <laughs> all right, so we'll just keep an eye on the water, see if we need to turn the other pump on. But for now, some sheep are pumping their log like anything. That's a sentence I never thought I'd see. But we are really filling up the water. This is great. And look, we've nearly got enough science to unlock the platform. So two more science. Are we going to do it before the end of the day? No, working hours are over. So this clock up here, when they're in the daylight, they're working. When they're in the darkness, they are not working. I can change the working hours. I can make them work 24 hours a day. I can make them not work at all. But I think 16 hours is fair for a beaver. It's a good amount. Oh no, Flame Sulis died of old age. We've had quite a lot of deaths. For the first episode of a new season, it's all been happening. It's all been kicking off. All right, so yes, now the platforms can be unlocked. So we'll say, do we want to unlock the platform for 100 science? Yes, we do. So now over here, we can get down to there by building that and then steps there and there. And then down here, if we build a lumberjack flag, then we are good to go. Look, they're building the steps and everything. Sorted. I think for my next science thing, I probably want to unlock the large storage tank. Just because these take up a lot of room and it's not easy to be very efficient down here. If we just mark these to be cut down, that's a lot of wood. All right, and I'm sort of thinking it might be time to build some more of these breeding pods. We've got loads of berries there. I am concerned about the next dry season. It's probably due. Sod it. We need to expand. We need to expand. So let's build three more right next to it. Okay, and let's just pause because look, a lot has happened. So it's I see Dirk Smash and Big Riley have all just been born. And then William and Tears of Telos has grown up. So we've got three unemployed beavers. We've just been told the dry season is approaching three days. So we're going to unpause the deep water pump. The Tears of Telos has gone in there. That's your first job, mate. Now these foresters are nearly done. I've still got two unemployed beavers. I don't know what to do with them now, actually. Perhaps we can increase the builders and build a few more. because we're at least going to have three jobs to do over the dry season. Because we can't pump water, really. And we definitely can't use the lumber mill. So let's do another science center. Another four. Why not? And also, our storage is nearly full. So we might want to build another one of those. So storage right next to it. And then we're all good. I might even tell these guys to plant some more trees. Because they're nearly done. So plant more maples. We'll do a strip down there, I think. Oh, and look, we have carrots to pick. So let's reduce the number of builders. Turn on the farm. Sorted. All right, this is actually going really well. Like, ten times better than I thought it was going to go. If you've watched my previous playthroughs of these, you know I've properly struggled with the start of levels. And particularly as I've been playing the Timberborners, I haven't really started a new one for a very long time. But yeah, we're doing well. We are doing well. But I think for today, we're going to leave it there. A massive thanks to the devs for sponsoring this video. And if you've enjoyed, please boost your like button. Peace, love, and Timberborn. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.